This video is brought to you thanks to our partners, Mint Mobile. If you guys are looking at changing your wireless service up, Mint Mobile has some great promotions right now. Use that affiliate link down below and you can get any three month plan for only $15. This does include their unlimited offering, which is a 50% discount off of what it typically does. And if you don't follow the channel, we actually personally use Mint Mobile. It has been phenomenal. Their customer service is great. If you don't wanna call anybody or talk to anybody, you can chat right through the app change your plans as needed also, and thanks to prepaying in advance, you are getting some of the best deals in wireless right now. Since they piggyback off of the T-Mobile network also, you are getting great nationwide coverage anywhere you go with a lack of dead zones, which is phenomenal. We've had no issues for the months we've been using it. Min Mobile, thanks again for partnering with us on this video. Again, go save some money and pay a fraction of what your other phone bills are and definitely get some of the best service out there today. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So as you can see, we're back outside, back at the Cybertruck with the new Cybertruck Vault storage bins that just went available to order last week that have been teased for a couple months. Finally have them here and they do come in a set of three. They don't lock in place, but they do sit in the grooves on the truck bed. So hopefully they won't slide around side to side but they will slide front to back unless you get two sets of these, which gives you six bins and that fills the back of the bed and the front of the bed. So you don't have to worry about that. So having said that, quick short video for you guys today. I wanna to unbox it. As you can see, it's a pretty large box. A lot of people said you can get some Rubbermaid uh, fill-ins for this for a fraction of the price. Let's see the build quality. Let's see how they sit in the truck and go from there. So right off the bat, it did come in uh, somewhat of a junky packaging. So I'm just going to go ahead and rip right into it here and put the tape on the side and open this up. So it looks like right off the bat, you're going to have a lid. And I'll show you here, as you guys can see, nice grooves. It matches the exact color of the bed liner and all that. So let's set this down on the side for now. And let's get the next one here. And this is gonna be the bin itself, actually. So I'll tip it down and get a better look at it. So I'll slide all these right out of the package. Save this on the side. Thank you, man. And here are the actual other bins you get. So put these right down here. They do lock and you can see the cover was on one of them right here. And in fitting nature, like we talked about in all of our other videos, we're in a secluded area, but people just drove by and had to compliment the truck. Again, not a bad thing, pretty cool, but something again to be aware of if you're getting one of these cyber trucks. So let me put that back on. It just slides right over, locks in place, and I'll pick this one up. And yeah, this is exactly what it looks like you can see it actually has the Cybertruck logo on the front there and on the back side as well so we'll get these all together take this one out stack it here get that lid put it right back on they definitely are solid and that last lid is in the box here get that out yeah so here is the third one set it right here and they do have a lot of storage in it actually I'm gonna go ahead and move this box out of the way and put these in the bed of the truck so you can get a better look okay so as you can see right inside of the grooves and it just slides right back and we'll do that for the next one and then the third one as well right there so you can see just how good they fit and again still have plenty of room push that all the way back there if you wanted to put something else up front you could also buy the divider to keep just three in place that go on the panels on the side and it would be very easy they also in a three pack don't get in the way of your storage if you need for your sub trunk and then also like you saw the box it came in that would still fit right back 
in front of it all. And let's close that tonneau cover. And you can just see how it all fits. Perfectly fine, no issue. And then if you wanted to see them straight in the back of the bed, pretty simple. Easy design, and quite honestly too, if you look at how these lay out, this is exactly what I'm imagining the actual range extender to look like and what kind of space you're gonna lose in the bed of the truck. So keep that in mind, it should be very comparable in size, but there you go. Bins look very nice, very solid construction. Our Rubbermaid's gonna be equally as good, possibly, but you're not gonna get those grooves to lock in place. Could be sliding around a little more, so we'll spend a couple of bucks and deal with these. So that's it for this one, really, guys. You can see, again, we put about 1,300 miles on the Cybertruck at this point. Still worked out pretty good. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Is it worth it? Let me turn this around for you guys. I don't know. I think the price is definitely a little higher than what it should be. However, you get what you pay for. It's Tesla. They have that Tesla tax, just like Apple has their Apple tax. Let us know in the comments. You're going to be picking one up. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.